Okay, so Corey wanted me to do a little demo on the foam roller we have right here. So what I've done is I have created three mixes of the gray. This painting, by the way, is nowhere near done. It's at a good point where I have a pretty good map of the values and the colors that I want are pretty much in the right place. There's gonna be a lot of tweaking here. The hair looks great, some of this stuff looks great. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and, and focus on certain areas of the painting and sort of like gray out the rest. So let's go at it. I am going to start maybe with, I'm gonna start with the dark, with the dark color. So I'm just going to pick up this dark paint and then notice, notice how what I have is basically just a very irregular uh, blob of paint on that roller and I'm just going to pick whatever I see the dark values and I'm going to just lay it on there. And the good thing about this is that it doesn't give you a whole lot of, of control. So you can actually go back and forth and you're forced to not have any type of control whatsoever. So as you can see, I'm just blocking out certain areas of the painting. And as I do that, it's kind of simplifying simplifying the uh, the values where I had them okay so you probably don't see much difference in camera but let's see what happens I'm not really cleaning a whole lot of it I'm just kind of taking the excess out and then I am going to take this mid-tone roll it on that edge that's about the only control I have is that I'm doing it on the edge and then I'm gonna get areas I'm squinting right now where I see mid-tones so I'm gonna block that out just like that and then maybe some on the background as well and then what happens next is that I am going to get the lighter value of this gray. There are all three of them are grays. So notice how it's just creating these nice blurry uh, edges. Kind of getting rid of detail in a sense. And don't worry if you don't like something that you didn't put in. You can always take a little bit of water on your rag and just edit out what you didn't want on there. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the third color, which is the lighter gray. And I'm really going to start trying to create that impact that I want on him. Really making that image pop. As I'm doing that, I'm giving him the contour that I want. Look at that nice and blurry, that nice and blurry um, feel that it gives you, it gives it a, a real nice, a real nice mood. Yeah, and then I can also do it on areas on him that I like.
can give those accents. Now, whatever you feel like it didn't go your way, at this point, you can just let this dry, let this dry and then go back and, and touch up with color. But here in this jacket, I'm seeing the mid-tones in here created something nice with the purples, but there is something in there that could be just a surprise. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that, of that mid-tone gray. Why not? Just gonna add some of that gray. There's a little bit of green in there. that and then I'm gonna do just a surprise I'm gonna deviate I'm gonna deviate from that value that I have on my jacket and I'm just gonna lay it on there just like that Whether I like it or not, that's to be decided. I just decided to do that. And that's about it. That's what I do with it. And now I'm gonna go back into him and add some touches, probably define the zipper a little bit more and also define the abs in the areas that I want to create the impact. See how this kind of retrieved, kind of like fed it out. And I'm giving this area here the focus. So that was my... Uh